So this company is ripping off our number one video of all time. Why is Google letting this happen? How do we stop this guy? Like, Clint, uh, hang on, man, hang on. We can't hang on any longer, dude. Oh! Hey guys. Are you about to click away because you think that this is an advertisement? Today's sponsor. Today's sponsor. Today's sponsor. Today's sponsor. Is this is a sponsor segment. Shame on you. It's not. But I did want to bring up something that you might not even know is happening. We've all seen pre-rolls on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and what have you where an advertisement pops up before you watch a video. Um, it's one of the ways that we generate revenue to continue to make more videos. And if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, you probably know that I'm a licensed attorney and I've talked a lot about content and copyright infringement in the past, but today's video explores something much more nefarious. Okay. We got sent numerous emails about this and they were saying, hey guys, um, this company that has these lucid dreaming masks is using Superman with a GoPro as an advertisement for a product. Are you guys related to this product at all? And not only have they taken our Superman with a GoPro video, they've taken content from numerous other creators. They've cut it together in a minute and a half ad and then they've posted that on their Facebook profile and then they tell Facebook, hey, we'll pay you money put this video as a pre-roll all over your site. Now with everything going on around COVID and the unemployment rate and all the other problems that are associated with that whole mess, this might not seem like the biggest deal. But as a content creator and on behalf of the other content creators who make the videos that you watch, those videos are our product. And when somebody takes our product and uses it in a manner that we don't intend, that hurts us and it hurts you guys as the viewers too. The hardest part is that this isn't the first time that this has happened, not even in the least. I mean, just a few months ago, Nico was dealing with something just like this at the studio. Sam, can I show you something? Uh, see this? Ah, uh, yes, the past. So there's like somebody that's making like Minecraft mod ripoff programs mm. on, on Android, and they're using our Minecraft video as their commercial. They shouldn't do that because that's stupid and their mod probably sucks. It's actually not a mod, it's just they took other people's mods and made a program that lets you like install mods on Minecraft Pocket Edition without having to pay for them. It's one thing to like use an obscure videos, video of ours, but like to use our like number one video and just rip us off for their own commercial. And now we're the face of their crappy company and their crappy app. They're yeah. ripping us off, they're ripping off the modders, they're ripping off the customers. Knowing YouTube, there's probably not much we can do about it. It's one thing to like be like, hey, here's something cool, I wanna share it. It's another thing to be like, here's something cool, I wanna monetize it because I wanna make money from other people's work. That's not cool. I'd like to send him an invoice and make him pay for using it. Let's see what Jake says we can do about this. I need my lawyer. So how do you stop something like this from happening? Well, first and foremost, when you guys, the viewers, tell us about it, when you see it happening, that is the most immediate way that we find out about it. But it's also the most manual, it's the slowest, uh, because what we have to do is we have to then go to the product, search around the internet, try to locate where the video is coming from, and then ask the people to take it down. Do you think we'd send them an invoice? We'd be like, here's the price for using our content? Sending them an invoice for $1,000 isn't gonna do anything at all. Like, you're talking about somebody that probably lives somewhere in some major city in Vietnam. In order to, for you to advertise on YouTube, you have to upload the video to YouTube. If they downloaded the video from YouTube and then re-uploaded it to YouTube, why didn't Content ID recognize that? Why is Google letting this happen? There is no way to tell the platform that somebody is doing this. And so even if we go after Mr. King D himself and he takes it down, the door is still open for other people to do this. So ultimately the responsibility I think lies with Google. If you're a company like Facebook or Google and YouTube, you've got billions of pages literally and you've got billions of ad dollars coming through your site every year. You have a, you have a responsibility to look after the advertisements and the way that they're run on your platform and ensure that things are running smooth and that things are playing by the rules. Because right now, it doesn't matter where you got the content from, you can just go on there and put it in front of millions of people 
depending on how much money you're willing to spend. Now you might be thinking, Jake, how, how is this different than what you guys did with the Superman property? You don't own the rights to Superman. You don't own the rights to Minecraft. And you used those characters and those worlds in a bunch of different videos. Well, the answer lies in what is called fair use. Um, now, while this is not an affirmative right within American copyright, it is a well-recognized defense of additional creativity that goes into one's work. Now, obviously in Superman with a GoPro, we started with the Superman character, of which we do not own. But then we took it and we created an entirely new video from an entirely new perspective that people hadn't really seen before. And the focus wasn't really on Superman, it was on the perspective of what it's like being Superman. It might not sound like much, it might sound like, so what's the difference? You still took it and used it and did whatever you want with it, but there's actually a huge distinction to be made between that and then simply taking someone else's video, re-uploading it within your own advertisement and selling your own product based on that video. I think you get what I mean. Is there anything we can do about it outside of like hoping that you know big old Google like somehow changes corporate policy for us? Is there anything you can do about someone driving like a maniac on the freeway? Honk at them? I mean I guess we could do the equivalent of honk at them and maybe give them the finger. You could maybe ask the audience to go give bad reviews on the app. I don't like mob justice. I hate mob justice. It's such a thing on the internet now where everybody just takes a couple of facts, they run with it, and they like destroy someone's career. And I don't want to like inspire mob justice where it's like, guys, let's go just like destroy this person. But <laughs> <laughs> how do we stop this guy? Like, all right, here's here's what I think we should do. We're gonna send him an email and say, cease using our video immediately and to tell us once you've done so. If we do not hear back from them, on the horn. I'm gonna ask people to start reporting them for violation. Don't look up their address. Don't send them Molotov cocktails in the mail. I don't think you can do that. Um, <laughs> so those emails off today. Keep you posted. I need a way to de-stress. Is there anything I can de-stress with in this office? Yeah! What is this? This is a crash pad. Crash pad is what you can jump onto from high distances and not hurt yourself. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> Well, if you need a flat and big. What the heck? Ooh. You know, watching back through this footage, which we shot long before any of this coronavirus stuff even started, it made me realize how lucky we are to make the videos that we make. And that's due in no small part to our loyal patrons over at patreon.com slash corridor digital. Patrons like Glitch Cube, Not a Canadian Spy, Alan Almanza, Philip Oxford, Harris Redsapajic, Jordan, Mattis Botker, Sunil S, Daniel Webster, and Philip Wynn. Thank you for supporting the content. <laughs> Breaking it in. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, Where did this come from? Can we put some of the railings? Oh, oh that, <laughs> that just hurt. <laughs> is right this there, supposed buddy? to be safe, Nico? It is safe. Ren mm -hmm. doesn't have brain damage. He's just always like that. You know what we have to do, though, right? What? We jump have to go put it over there right. so we jump off the jump. Jump off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You scared, bro? Yeah. I'm not gonna make it! I got you! I can't hang on any longer, dude. Let's not help you find a better roommate! Clint! Hang, hang on, man. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Like even if you, no, but if you get the thickness. Oh, oh, you can you see his shoe? His shoe went up there. <laughs> It's been a few hours since I sent off the original emails asking these people to remove these videos. And fortunately, the people from uh, luciddreammasks.co got back to me and they said, uh, we reviewed all of our content and we will take down all the posts and videos that contain the footage. Uh, we want you to know that our intention wasn't to deliberately steal clips from your videos and we can assure you that this won't happen again. Thank you very much. I totally understand, uh, you know, when a company is new, you're trying to get 
get started. You see a cool piece of video out there. Um, I, I, I greatly appreciate that. Realistically, the solution to these types of problems clearly lies with platforms like Facebook, regardless of, of who creates the content or where it comes from or who owns it. If you guys like this video and you wanna know more about what goes on here at Corridor, we have a podcast where all we do is tell stories, talk about projects we're working on, things we think are funny, things we think are interesting. It's a great time. If you're into podcasts, head on over to youtube.com slash CorridorCast or, or click the link in the description right here or over there or the link here. Anyway, we just set C-Mic on. Check it out. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. I gotta go. <laughs> no, for real, I gotta get going, guys. Peace out. Oh, <laughs> oh, did you actually hurt yourself because you didn't take your backpack off? No, for real, I gotta go, though. I gotta go. I'll, I'll catch you guys. You're All right, I'll crazy. see you guys. Wait, 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 <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that might have right, for real this time, for real, I'm leaving. Dude, you guys gotta keep. Alright, for real? You forgot his bag.